News at 6. Good evening again. Just days after a burglary Saturday morning, police have put a suspect behind bars. Technology is making a big difference in solving those crimes. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live along the street where the latest break-in happened with how police nabbed the suspect so quickly. That's right. Police were called here to the 4,000 block of South Harrison early Saturday morning, a reported burglary. But good police work at the scene. Finding hidden, hidden fingerprints helped catch the culprit. Fingerprints make us unique. It's the ridges that is the individual part that we believe is never duplicated. And fingerprints landed 21-year-old Christian Bradley behind bars. We ended up identifying that person some 14 times off of the lifts that she took at the scene. The Automated Fingerprint Identification System, or APHIS, helps detectives find their suspect. I have a print here. I have no idea who it belongs to. I don't know if it's male. I don't know if it's female. I don't know if they're black, white, blue, or green. All I know is I have a latent print of value, and technology allows us to determine who this print of value comes up to. The forensic scientists scan the fingerprint from the scene into the computer and mark identifiers. When the computer sends back possible matches, the latent fingerprint examiner confirms the comparison. We're able to get suspects where previously there were none. Bradley's charged with felony burglary. The officer at the scene lifted his prints off a window in a home on South Harrison. A burglar went into the house through that window. In court documents, Bradley admits opening the window, but says a second person went inside the house. Police say there were also several other break-ins in the area around the same time. We are still investigating the other six. Investigators also still investigating the rash of burglaries in nearby neighborhoods all within the last month. We don't have anything that links him at this time. However, he is certainly a suspect, and our investigative process continues. We did learn today that some fingerprints were found at some of those other burglary sites, but so far, no matches in the database have been found. Live in Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.